Welcome to a Delco Nerd Network Podcast. I am your host, Anthony Rigucci, and here with a few friends in the Delaware County area, we get in a basement and we talk about a certain topic. Today's topic is going to be the DC Animated Universe Retrospective. Here to discuss my co-host, as always, Chris Trio. Gooch, how's it going? What's up? You know, another day. It's been a long time since we actually, uh, well, we did a podcast that, like, with Zack Snyder. Uh, just, of with, course, with Justice Snyder League. Cut, we didn't, like, ta- shoot the shit. No, so not what, really. What have you been up to? What have I been up to? What have you been playing? Um, I mean, obviously. I guess watching, too, I guess. Yeah, extent, w- obviously, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Been thoroughly enjoying that. You will see our hot take on that once that finishes up. Uh, time depends, obviously, but that's been a lot of fun. I have been watching. I just saw Kong versus Godzilla or Godzilla versus Kong. First movie I've seen in the movie theaters in over a year. That was a lot of fun. I don't know if I love the movie or just love being back in the movie theater, but I really had a good time with it. And uh, I would definitely recommend it, if not just for the fight scenes. And I don't know if it's even comparable on your your TV screen, and that's what scares yeah, me. Yeah, that's that's the like Dune. It yeah. really is, and it's I an, it's an issue. I really hope Dune, from what it, we're seeing, it's it's pretty likely, but that that's just going to be a theater release. But I think people are hungry to get back in the movie theaters too, because apparently Godzilla Godzilla v King Kong like blew up the the COVID box office, like destroyed the last record, which is good. That's nice to see. Yeah. But uh, besides that, you know, just the regular Red Dead, obviously. And actually, again, been getting back into Assassin's Creed. I told you I lost a whole quest line in that, which was very annoying because of this dumb cosmetic glitch. Apparently, when you're doing, I can't remember, if it's a Gloucestershire. So I think I've told you this. It's broken up yeah, like yeah. into smaller side like quests that you have to take over England. And there's there's a story beat where you have to wear this like weird cloak with this like skull mask, and it's supposed to be on you throughout the whole quest line. But but when I finished the quest line, it was still on me, and it wasn't. I couldn't turn it off. I couldn't take it off. It just was stuck to my character. So I was like, I'm not going to, like, I had a save right before I started that. And I was like, I'm just going to do it again. Because I, this would, I didn't know if I could, I know it sounds weird maybe, but like having my character just stuck with this thing on them the whole time that looks so dumb really kind of takes me out of it. Yeah. I think I was, I was saying to you, like, I hate glitches like that. Yeah. It really, it really like, does. It really yeah. just destroys your immersion. It a hundred percent does. Yeah. But, you yeah, know, uh, but otherwise I've been enjoying that actually. I just want to finish it for God's sakes. I'd be curious to actually talk about that once I finish up, but what what have you been up to? What have you been watching? Um, big one that I've been playing that's pretty new. I feel like, again, it's been a while since we actually talked about anything, watching, doing, whatever. Um, so Octopath Traveler, a, originally a Switch exclusive, has come to Xbox, so I've been playing that. Um, it's basically a Final Fantasy-like uh, JRPG. Okay. Um, Octopath, because there's eight characters, and each character has their own story. There's no through line. Sure. The game is just all eight of these characters stories Hmm. um and i don't you don't have to get everyone like i think you can play with one character and like finish with one character but then you only have one person party um jesus yeah so it's 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 interesting it's it's very different from like any other jrpg i've played i really like it it's kind of like this classic like retro 16-bit look but with like 3d graphics i think it meshes like the sort of like classic Final Fantasy look with like a modern kind of you know graphical sure, yeah, yeah, deal yeah. or whatever. Um, been really enjoying that. Who knows how long it's gonna take for me to get through? I think I've already put like I think I'm up to like forty hours. Really? Yeah. Oh shit! Wow. Yeah. I I I also went through the Outer Worlds DLC, which Perils of Gorgon. I, I was I was pretty underwhelmed with. Uh, like the the first like intro to the quest where they're like giving you all the spiel yeah. all the exposition i love that yeah and then the actual dlc was, i didn't like it was at all per- was it just boring yeah i just didn't find it like, engaging too, too interesting yeah, 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 but yeah. then the murder of arandos came out and um like while i was playing perils of gorgon and um that was really good it's like a murder mystery thing yeah. with uh like a like some high profile people in the game hmm. uh like halcyon helen like the she's like a tv star is like okay. the person who gets murdered and you're pretty much trying to figure out what happened i really liked it um it's more outer worlds it doesn't make the game better like we did a hot take on that a while ago and that game is just like super okay and yeah. like it, it if anything it's just more outer worlds it's super okay sure yeah, it's yeah. not like too much to talk about but you know that's it, it's there if you want it that's cool I've been, I was actually playing a little bit of Outer Worlds again recently. It's a fun game. It is, but a little underwhelming, I think. Would Yeah. 
Dude, yeah, also coming. jumped in an indie, indie game called After Party uh, by Night School. They do uh, Oxen Free. Oxen Free 2 actually just got announced like two days ago. It's the Switch indie thing. Um, y- After Party was cool. Um, again, Isn't that the one where you're like in hell yeah. and you're like going through? I think I started that yeah. and I just, I don't know, it didn't click for me. It It's okay. Uh, I think Oxen Free's story was better. Hmm. Um but yeah, would I recommend it? I don't know. It's again, it's an on rails walk around, talk to people like the game. You play beer uh, drinking games as like the gameplay mechanic. But yeah. Like they almost feel like too gimmicky. I feel like there should be more, more of it. to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like it like I feel like it was like a real missed opportunity to make something cool out of that mechanic. But Absolutely. It, like you only do it like maybe twice or three times through the whole game. It's, yeah. like, a, it's like a six to eight hour game. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, Diablo three. I think I've played through that whole thing too since the last time we talked on PS4. So that has like a story, like I don't know. Yeah. So I made the bad um, assumption to assume that the story actually really mattered in Diablo. Apparently it doesn't, uh, and I was like very underwhelmed by the time I finished it. Even the DLC, I was like, this just like did. Yeah, it was not very grand. Yeah, I was like, just you finish the game, and it's like that's All it. Right, yeah. See ya. That, you killed Diablo. <sighs> Later. That's so annoying. Like when you feel like you're like, oh, that's the end. Like trying to think of another i don't know deus ex like when that ended i was like oh these are the credits what he, he, uh mankind divided yeah i was yeah. like wait this felt like i just was building up what the fuck yeah that's that's frustrating but that's cool that sounds interesting i, I like i said i started after party i don't think it really clicked for me as much but uh yeah i was playing your great yes your grace i've i kind of i'm dipping back into it it's like you control your own like kingdom in the in the medieval times and like you have to make decisions on like who you help and like how you're spending your money. Like it's it's weird. Apparently it was Meredith and I were reading online. It was inspired by the guys who did Papers, Please, which is like I thought interesting. Yeah, and it's especially this to me. in the way they like talk and stuff. You definitely get they're like murmur, murmur, and like the just the way they're murmur, kind of, right. exactly. Yeah. But uh, so did, definitely fun. How did you find this a Game Pass? Okay. I just was on there. I, I've seen you. I've recently. I think I've seen that you've been playing like a lot of weird titles, and you don't really like venture outside a certain zone. Well, especially if I have games. to buy them. Like I will say, that's the thing with Game Pass, which I would highly recommend. I'm seeing this. Like, there's one on there called Contagion, where you basically are like a disease, a thing monster, and oh, okay. you're taking over like a station. It's a lot of fun. It's really cool. Would I have bought that by myself? Absolutely not. But like, <laughs> but like, could I? If, if I'm downloading it for free and I see it, and I'm like, this looks interesting. I'll fucking down. It's eight gigabyte. I don't care, dude. So my brothers have been begging me to download Warzone to play with them. So I finally did last night. 74 gigabytes. But like I was looking, my brother was a like, what, Xbox? Yeah, on Xbox, That's which actually box. is, it used to be like 120. So I think they actually really dipped it. Yeah, they did a patch recently that kind of cut it. Yeah. And I was looking at, uh, I was looking at the expansion card for the Xbox. I mean, 220 bucks. To like speed, man. I tech. guess so. Is that like what does it like? I was wondering if you could explain it to me. What does that does it make your console faster or like what does it, it do it's anything? The, it's the same drive that's in the console. So, the so it doubles like, it. This hard drive is a hard drive. It's sure. not a solid state. It 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 has a disc that moves in it. Solid states are digital drives, so they can write fast faster. Interesting. So that is what is in the Series X and the PS5. These those solid state drives that are, are So it are is a digital different, only. Yeah, so it's a different technology. Is right. what you're saying. And it's newer and it's more expensive and yeah, that's kind of the thing. Yeah, solid no, state like, like, like my computer runs on a solid state like it just, interesting. It just does everything faster. Okay. Cuz that's I guess that's what was confusing me cuz obviously I could get a hard drive like a like a terabyte hard Believe drive it or not, for 60 bucks. 500 gigs used to be a 220 for really when the technology was newer yeah well i guess that makes sense then because i didn't realize yeah. ssd was different from i guess what is that just hd or like HDD. hard drive yeah hd hard drive hard i think drive. i've seen hard HDD. drive drive <laughs> solid wait h yeah wait i don't know but it's definitely not hd mm-hmm. but whatever so okay that makes more sense to me then yeah so that's what you're paying for yeah I'm, i've been looking into that too because my brother he's like because he's been bugging de- me what you have to delete nothing luckily oh, okay. i haven't i've had like but I'm I'm only I have like 24 gigabytes left now. Yeah. yeah. So, I, and it was funny. My brother was like, "I don't care. I'll buy you the fucking the hard <laughs> drive." But then I'm like, looking, I'm like, I'm not gonna make him pay 219. Is it just bu- Jay who plays? No, my, Jay and T- Mike. They love apparently Jay. I'm not kidding. I think he could have been a professional gamer, like a professional streamer in another like if he was born five years later. Like he is insane at shooters. I was thinking about if we get into it, we might like we're thinking very tangentially. I've been trying to get streaming going up in some facet. I, I like I know I play Red Dead all the time, but 
I don't know how engaging that is just for me to play Red Dead with you everyone. You just got to talk. That's the other thing. So like talking about what you're doing. And, yeah. And yeah, you you just don't realize how much you can talk about it until uh, you start talking about. That's it. fair. So and sometimes streaming is just talking to nobody. Absolutely. Like, just kind of just winging just it. Just like, doing like, it. Yeah. Streaming is really weird, which is why. Like, I don't think streaming is super conducive with the way I play games, and that's why I haven't done it, and, mm-hmm. you know. No, absolutely, but I think it would be kind of fun to get them on it, but Jay is just, like I said, he's insane. Like, when we would play Halo and stuff, bonkers. But, I mean, I think that's all I've been playing, Gooch. Yeah, I know, I, I, going off Diablo, like, I plat that, that was a fucking chore. I platinum Little Hope, I went back and did all that shit. I've just been cleaning shit up. And like I think I'm gonna get doing ret- your chores. I think I'm gonna yeah. I think I'm gonna get Returnal because it's coming out and it's a PS5 game. And, yeah. Uh, there's nothing else really going on. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about playing Resident Evil Revelations to kind of like continue my RE playthrough, um, but I think I'm just gonna wait. I've been meaning to. I meant to send you a video. It was Colin talking about like the state of PlayStation right now and stuff, and how he is just very not excited. Like, Recently, was, like, like yeah, it was yeah, like it was like it's not exciting. No, exactly. No, I thought I was. I was like. I was like, it was something that you would exciting. probably that, that I was just thinking you would definitely oh, agree yeah, with. I like, need, I need to watch. Yeah, I no, could, I think I could, you, get, I could get with some cynical Colin Moyarty. Well, and, but again, I don't think shit. he's. I don't think he's like overly. I think he's very justified in what he was said. Like you know, like he's he's giving up real reasons why he wasn't. He's like, this isn't like I don't like the idea of like even just the recent stuff that's come out with them talking about that Last of Us remake that nobody wants. That nobody wants. They're doing all nobody this stuff like, for. but also they just don't seem to want to dip their toes in a new IP very much, and they really. And like he nope. talks about the reasons why that like it's very interesting. I would definitely highly recommend you watching it. Apparently it was from their like Patreon episode, but they were all talking about it so much that they clipped it out and put it on their YouTube channel. But uh it was a very interesting thought. So what I have been watching is the entire DC animated universe for the last year and a half now. And I finally finished and I wanted to come on and kind of chat about it because I, I, you know, if you've been listening to the podcast for a while, I've, I've definitely been mentioning it for a while that Absolutely. I was either doing the Superman or Batman the Animated Series or watching one of the movies or, or whatever. So, really quick before you start, wh- in which order did you watch it? Everything? Release order or chronological order? Or just by whichever order you felt? The movies, chronological. Okay. The shows, release. Sure. Because that's how they released. Okay. So, what I watched in total. I didn't watch everything, but I pretty much watched as much as I th- thought necessary. Batman the Animated Series. The third season of the Animated Series, which is the New Adventures of Batman, which is the different animation style. Mm-hmm. Sub-Zero. Mask of the Phantasm. Uh, Mystery of Batwoman. Beyond. Return of the Joker. Justice League. Justice League Unlimited. Justice League versus the Fatal. Wee, wee, wee. Sorry, okay. what was that? That's isn't that what I, I'm trying to remember their theme song? Isn't it like really like yeah? Dun-dun-dun. I mean, sort of. <laughs> but, but I think you need a little bit more to get some context for that one. I'm on. Okay, what is Sorry, I I know? Fatal know. Five. Yes, Batman and Harley Quinn. Um. Oh, so you even put in the like new stuff? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were only talking like pre like 2010. No, I I everything that's included in the universe I tried to do. Interesting. Okay. So so even those continue off of like I think that's it. Okay. I'm trying to think. Hold on. Superman the animated series. Sorry, I missed that. Superman was in between uh the animated you, Gooch, uh, Are you going to sit there and tell me that you did, skipped Static the shot. goddamn Green Lantern animated series. Yes, I did. <laughs> no, it's okay. But, no, yeah. that's what I just says. It's like it's not in the DCAU. I don't care. No, is it? So it isn't. Nope. Would they defend? Like, how do they? How do we know that? Like, do they? He like, I think explicitly says it. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So one of the things I've been doing, and I want to give these guys a shout out, the Watchtower database on YouTube. These guys are like the only YouTube channel to cover the DCAU and like the extent they're doing. And it's been great to like kind of watch their content and like kind of have like a companion thing to, to be going on first with time it, yeah. watch and like kind of learn more about this universe Absolutely. and stuff as we go and you know yeah, learn all the behind the scenes shit and you know Easter eggs and yada yada yada. Watch our database. Check them out. They're awesome. Um but yeah this is these are TV shows I never watched as a kid. I don't have any sort of touchstone for any of this stuff. I did not. I did not like superheroes as a kid, as a like young kid. I wasn't into it. Yeah, like, I remember like tangentially like watching like a few of these here and there, but I agree with you. I wasn't in the way of like this was like my mon- Sunday morning cartoon or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like 
Uh, like it's funny from the the guys from the DCAU Watchtower are are, are like uh the, the Watchtower database. They're all like we grew up with this, and I'm just like I didn't. That's why I'm watching it now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but fuck. Like, where do we even start? Like, how good I mean, these it's, shows are? These literally, movies. especially like Batman the Animated There's Series. There's some of the movies. They revolute, like Batman the Animated Series and stuff like that revolutionized, like, animation. In, in America, I feel like, at least in the way of, yeah. like, taking it seriously. Like, it ran, it won an Emmy. It, it won yeah, Emmys for, like, yeah, that, like the, doc, the, 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 the Mr. Freeze, Freeze episode, episode, stuff like that. Yeah, like, and um, there's a few other episodes. Uh, the Robin episode won an Emmy. Um, the, I think that's a, that's a two-parter. I mean, we could do an entire podcast on Batman the Animated Series alone. To be honest, yeah. like in the way of like, I mean, even characters we got out of it, Harley Quinn to just speak of one, but no, I mean, these things, there, there's a reason that people love them so much and that they almost continue today. And that if they brought that, these new shows back, we'd be rap. Not only would they get kids in on it, they'd get us in on it and like a bunch of people in. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I think, I think it's really easy to jump into these shows and watch them and like, they really don't feel like they're for kids. Like they're like the 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 tones are darker, even with Superman. Like it, it just never felt kiddish to me at all. Like there's really like even Justice League. The like the through lines of Justice League and Unlimited are like really adult. Like you watch John Stewart and uh, Shaira like have a relationship throughout like five seasons of television. Yeah, and like. And you know, yeah, and it's just like, and then like, uh, John Stewart's dating Vixen, and like he, sh- like, Shaira at the end of the first Justice League. Have you? S- so what have you actually watched? Basically all those movies, a thousand percent. I've seen most of Batman the animated series. I've seen most of, if not all, of Batman Beyond. I don't. I haven't seen a ton of Superman the animated series. It's good. I used to watch Justice League animated Justice League all the time when I was younger. That was one touchstone for me that. It, like, do I remember specifically all of them and, like, specific storylines? Not necessarily. So Justice League ends with the Thanagarians coming to Earth. Yeah. And Hawkgirl, like, essentially is the cause of that. And she leaves the Justice League. And she's okay. not in the Justice League in the beginning of Unlimited. Interesting. And that's when they stop dating. But then she comes back. Jon Stewart has moved on with Vixen. Shaira comes back. Not as Hawkgirl, but I think she's just Shaira. Yeah. Like, she just doesn't go by Hawkgirl. Costume change, mm-hmm. no mask. Yeah. Um, and like they kind of have a struggle, and then obviously, like he Warhawk and, and Beyond is their kid. You find out, and like that's how and there's like you know th- that's the thing. Like even though Beyond is at the end, yeah, it's before Justice League, so like there are through lines like that episode where it's like okay, like you needed to watch Beyond to understand first, what to understand this is, how, yeah, why that like what this Justice League from the future or whatever yeah yeah. and it's called justice league unlimited yeah like in in beyond which is really cool yeah and you wouldn't understand that unless you you watch batman beyond so there there, there's a there is a reason to watch them in order um of release yeah yeah and like superman isn't introduced on you know until so superman third season of the animated no wait no, the bat, the Batman in the Superman animated series is from the New Adventures of Batman, which is Batman the animated series season three. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a weird timeline. Like when that art style switches, that's when Superman starts in the third. Season so, of the how does Superman? Does that start with him? Like, like is, I don't think Lois ever knows he's Clark Kent. I love. That's it. like a normal I, thing. Like usually I in a enjoy lot of it. Shit. Well, it's funny that well. I think the only reason they don't do that in movies because I feel like they think that's too big of a leap for people now to make for some reason. I, I don't think it's necessarily true. I liked, but like I think like, they're. Well, so I was reading something on like Donner's original cut for his for du- Superman two, yeah. and the way he wanted it to end was like, basically Clark like being like admitting to Lois, he's like, "Listen, Lois, like I love you and I wish I could do this, but you know I can't be Superman and and be with you, and I don't think that's fair to the people of Earth to do." And like he actually has to make the choice, and he finally levels with her. Like, which I think is, is another interesting kind of ploy. But, you know, and then there's obviously, I feel like what they go with for most of the movies is she just knows. She, like, she's just aware somehow. I gotta, yeah, I'm like, sorry, I'm like, slapping my mic. I'll stop. No, in the animated series, like, it never seems like she is aware. And, like, they, they all, like... The Do they relation- date? Like, very slightly. I wouldn't say, like, full-on dating, but they go on dates. Sure. Like, in Unlimited, just uh, Superman goes on a date with... Um, with uh, Lois, but like again, it seems like it's still kind of new. Like they're yeah. not really serious, 
And I kind of like that. I don't think Unlimited works and Justice League works with Clark in a relationship with Lois. Like, especially in, yeah. like when they first found the league. Mm-hmm. And then, um, you know, as it continues. And I really like the through lines that come out of, like, I, I think, I mean, like, obviously the Beyond through lines are there with the, uh, the epilogue episode, which is, you know, we find out Terry McGinnis is Bruce Wayne's son, yada, yada, yada. We've Still don't like that reveal. On podcasts before, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a cool reveal, and, like, that's where the Unlimited was supposed to end, then it got another season. I don't think that's a cool reveal. Oh, you don't? No, I don't like that. He should have just been Terry McGinnis. It doesn't have to, Batman's son doesn't have to be Batman. That's the whole point of Bat. Anyways. Continue though. I don't mean to do wrong. That's just not no, my. It's, it's we've okay. had this conversation before. Yeah, we have. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. So like, there's a like the Superman animated series three line is like one of the at the end of Superman the animated series he kills Darkseid or not kills him but like incapacitates him like somehow. fucks him up to the point where he doesn't rule Apocalypse and he's gone. He's like I'm out. I of think here. he dies because he's dead at the when he gets like revived did you ever see he, he, random side dead. tangent the i think it's superman and batman public enemy or something no. that one that one's there's like a fight scene i think like i think it's that one car is back and he's like kind of introducing her to the world and like yeah a that, dark yeah, side shows that. up and like it's a crazy fucking fight like it was yeah. really good yeah so like that end episode like superman turns oh, no, it's okay. Asleep, so. Superman turns, and, or like Darkseid's controlling him, and he starts like you know, yeah, shooting up Metropolis, like not yeah, of course, with like his, Superman with, with his eyes, yeah, <laughs> with his eyes, and beams. like Kara gets injured, and and Emil, um, what's his name, uh, Doctor Emil, <laughs> fuck, I don't know. Th- there's a doctor in Superman the anime, Emil something, and he like Emil turns- Blonsky. <laughs> He, no, he, he turns on Superman. He's part of Star Labs. Yeah. This is where he turns on Superman and becomes part of Cadmus because he sees Superman go rogue and he's like, he's like "Fuck, nah, dude, the Kryptonians yeah. are not good." Like we, if they fu- if they that's go off, that's how yeah. Galatea is created. Gar- Galatea is this version's Power Girl. Gotcha. Um, and like that's all from the animated series. And like hmm. the Cadmus arc is really cool, where it's him. So Power Girls in that? I didn't know. Yeah, her name's Galatea though. And it's not like it, necessarily it is a the exact... clone of Supergirl. Well, and Power Girl. Oh, that makes more sense. But Power Girl and other, she's just Earth 2's Supergirl, right? And other, right. Kind of, yeah, like that's okay. Yeah, with big boobs. Yeah. yeah. Big old knockers. Anyway. Yeah. There's no hiding it. <laughs> if you guys, if they introduce Power Girl and she doesn't have big knockers, they don't even, you don't need to cut the circle, but they better be big. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. So, and there's a lot of, yeah. So there's a lot of through lines with, with Superman that really come into play. Not necessarily Batman. Um, like, it's not really obvious. I mean, like, Tim Drake is Robin still in, in, in Justice League Unlimited. But, like, it's not really, like... And, like, Nightwing is never in... Um, Unlimited or Justice League? Uh, both. Yeah. He's never in either of them. Mm. Like, Nightwing never shows up. And I don't even think he's referenced all that much. You know what's funny? In Fatal 5 versus the Justice League, Nightwing is... They go to Bloodhaven, and he's watching... I think two leaguers, I forget which ones, go into Bloodhaven. Yeah. Like, and he's just in the background. And he's just like, that's it. Like, yeah. he doesn't show up or anything? Yeah. No. Hmm. No. Um, yeah, but fuck. Yeah, this is, it's so much to even talk about, but it, What it, were it, some of your favorite things? Let's start there. Some of the Batman animated series episodes, like the episode with Clayface. So, it's oh my good, yeah. God. I'm just like, holy shit. Like, this is so good. And like, I'm just surprised, like, how dark. Batman this animated series actually got was like able to how go. Yeah. good Kevin Conroy is not as Batman but as Bruce Wayne. It is His funny. His Bruce yeah. Wayne voice when he's younger is so good. One of the I think one of the bad things about the, season three of the animated series, the new Adventures of Batman, when it's Nightwing, Robin comes Nightwing, Tim Drake comes on. You know, there's no Jason Todd in this. That season is not that good, and I think everyone knows that. And like from whether you have the art style switches, but Kevin Conroy switches up his Bruce Wayne to just kind of be the same voice he does as Batman. For Batman. Yeah. But like there, like there are episodes when he's Bruce Wayne, and like it, the voice is totally different. No, it is, and I think and like I've, I've even seen vibe. I've seen interviews with him where he's done that. Like he says he does do that on purpose. He's like. He wants his Bruce Wayne to sound very suave and nice and like he's an approachable guy, but then Batman, that's his normal voice. Like yeah. he changes his voice like the first to be Bruce the, Wayne, animated, not to be ep- Batman. The first episode of the animated series is ba- uh, Man Bat, and he calls one of the doctors who works with Kirk Langstrom, and he's he, in the Batman voice. 
hey, Walter, like talking in his normal voice. Yeah. Like, it's funny. No, it's true. And I thought I thought that was always a really cool thing. Like, yeah, he's like, not like, you know, Christian Bale obviously changes his voice. To, to, I'm Batman. When, but the opposite. He's changing his voice to be Bruce Wayne because Batman, that's who he is. And that's classic right. Batman. Yeah. But uh, no, that's awesome. I mean, I loved, I watched most of the animated series. Uh, I didn't really like get all the way through it, I don't think. Uh, I really, what did you like better uh, beyond or the animated series? I was surprised at how much I enjoyed That's both a hard of them. Question. Like, you know what I mean? Beyond, like, I didn't, I like, I was excited to get into Beyond because, I, you know, I heard so much about it, but mm-hmm. like, it's, it's crazy how Beyond stands on its own so well. It does. I think its villains are awesome. Ink, Shrike, um, to- not a toxic. guy and a Blight. villain uses Blight. sound masking for his de- dirty deeds. This was in the nineties. I was like, barely even anyone knows what that is now. And I were yeah, it's just I'm, so funny. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Like the Royal Flush Gang is introduced here, yeah, and then later which are a bit of a jo- in, in, Joker in analog. There are a few no, no, like no, villain. No, no, they're not. They're really not. Oh they're well, there's created, the Joker Gang. I mean, I'm sorry, that's what Joker, I'm thinking of. The Joker Gang, and then the T's. Who for some reason I thought it was Red Tornado, but no, it's Mister Terrific. Duh. Yeah. Like, well, <laughs> so you know what's funny though? Like I think there are like there's a. They could have really kind of dived deeper into those analogs because there are there's they a couple never, of them, but they, they never don't really like, bring up anything about the T's other than the fact that they are no, and that's the cool. Tees. And but like what I'm, I'm trying, like I got to give them credit for is it could have been easy just to use more analogs, like a jo- more Joker gangs, more people who are just kind of future versions of these characters. But no, they went cool and they did Ink, they did Shrike, they did people who are new that you are still just as interested in, even and they don't have any base from like. Being Joker related, being Harley related, whatever, like you know what I mean. Yeah, like, I think that's a very cool testament and they, to the series. They, and then they explore like, uh, like one of the big things that Terry references: oh, the 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 near apocalypse of 09, which I don't even think we see in the animated series because mm-hmm. he talks about it, but like I don't know. Like I thought it was like, oh, is that like? I was like, is this the end of Unlimited? I'm like, I don't think that's what he's talking about because the timeline doesn't add up. But like, uh, Batman saved, oh yeah, the, the near apocalypse of 09. Like, they reference it a bunch. Jeez. Um, they, and they do reference the animated series a lot. Like, you know, Batman's Batcave has like all his rogues gallery in it for the most part. Can I and just like, say, can we get a goddamn Batcave with a giant penny and a dinosaur in it in real life for God's sakes? That's all I'm asking for. I'm sorry. I like in the Two Face one where the penny kind of like falls on him. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, in in the animated series, Um, Two Face is done super well. Um, Like I, I, I seeing, yeah. Even Crane, like I feel like they 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 brought these characters like I gotta I gotta look at the wiki real quick. I'm to just an extra echelon villains. Go continue. Yeah, no, I I I don't know. I just feel like there's something that's. (laughs) Really, just a major testament to these shows that they were able to explore these things and able to do these characters justice in a 25 minute format and keep it interesting and keep it engaging. And yeah, Willie, Willie Watt, um, Spellbinder, uh, Curare, who's like a shadow, like League of Who's they- Green Glowing Man? Blight, as Blight, okay. that's Paxton. No, Paxton Powers is his son, Wayne Powers. The CEO of Wayne Powers is him. I forget sure. his first name. Shrike. And I assume you watched uh, Return of the Joker too, right? With this, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, Mr. Freeze. Rachel Gould comes back for an episode. Um, Mr. Freeze is 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 a weird episode, but I think it's the only one that makes sense because they they kind of take off Sub Zero, but like Sub Zero's like plot doesn't necessarily like totally click with it. Yeah. Because like he's just a head in a jar. Yep. Uh, yeah. And don't, yeah. Yeah, I don't really know. But yeah. That's an interesting progression, like for his character. Um, Return of the Joker, I thought was was interesting. I actually, even though I've seen like some stuff, pick you know clips of that movie, like Tim Drake, sure. being not yeah. killed but uh, traumatized and turned into a little Joker, and then that's apparently how Harley Quinn. That's the moment Harley Quinn stops becoming. Or stops being with Harleen Harley Qu- Quinzel is no longer Harley Quinn after that. Like that whole event, like breaks up the Bat family, and um, w- um, it, it it's interesting that it's like nano chip technology that like I, that is the one thing over that over I'm like yes, Tim it's this Drake's it's brain. this nano chip right on the exposed back of my neck. Like again, I, it's an animated show, and I'm not going to too deeply yeah. into it. But there are like that's one thing. I'm like, come on, guys, give me a little bit better. 
better than that. But I still did overall. I love that movie. I think it's a very cool concept and interesting. Like, so he basically is the Joker. There was actually apparently a cut scene from that movie where I watched Bat- the I watched the uh, the the, ex- the I think it's director's cut. I forget what cut it is. It has blood and other. Yeah, it actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but there was one scene. I think that's cut from all of the cuts where like Bruce goes back to Arkham. To like, because he knows that's where Joker's buried, and he's like, I gotta check this out. And he gets there, and Joker's body is hanging up like on a noose, and he's like, I know what you did, or something like that. So it, well, it's apparently gonna be pretty dark, but they're like, that's a little too dark. Let's rein that back a little bit. Yeah. But I love that movie a lot. It's very cool. Yeah. Get, you've got Hamill back for for Joker, Joker, and stuff yeah. like that. Don't they like explore Joker's identity a little bit in the animated series? Yes. Like he's Mask like a monster. Fa- Mask, like, yeah. Mask of the Phantasm. That's he what it is. is yeah. Jack Napier, the gangster. Yeah. And he. He is the reason, um, oh, what's her name? I can't, the, the phantasm. Yeah, the, the girl who becomes the phantasm and his, his love interest in that, the reason she becomes the phantasm is because he kills her father. Yeah. So he kind of like starts well, her down then, that path and like Mask of the Phantasm is definitely like one of the best superhero films of all time. Absolutely. That intro, like when he, when he's with, oh, what's her fuck? I got to look it up. No, it's really good, up. and even uh, she's actually in that flat in that Justice League Unlimited episode when you see Terry. Yeah, he she was, was supposed to kill killed Bruce Terry's Wayne's parents. Terry's parents. The fan- yeah, sorry, yeah. Terry's parents. Man, the Phantasm identity. Uh, just very offshoot for a second. Love all the Bond posters, by the way. Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah. That's a, I like the No Time to Die poster. I don't necessarily love the IMAX thing on the Andrea top. Andrea Bo- Beaumont, that's her that's, name. Is that yeah. her like, character's name? Yeah, Andrea Beaumont becomes the you know the phantasm because her her dad is, is a mobster connected to the, to the mob. And yeah, Jack Napier is a part of that gang. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I don't mind how they do the Joker. I, no, I, I yeah. kind of like it. And then watching Batman kind of like... like tackle his year one and kind of like like be a crime fighter but like he's in love so like he's gonna choose love and like no and like yeah, now he's... she's gone she runs away and he fully goes into Batman he's like no and, this and, is what I have to do and that moment yeah. where he makes the suit for the first time and he gears up for the first time and, and Alfred you know not, not old yet but like comes down with the mask and gives it to him and he puts it on and he like goes back and it's like that's a scene it's great like that's a scene we've never seen in a movie yeah. where he suits up for the first time and like Alfred's reaction like little, like, is like visceral. It's like you like, look. He almost little, is yeah. like, holy shit. You look and scary. Yeah. Even in that Robin episode, he kind of he kind of like when Robin gets taken, he has this like crisis, and he's like, you know, like like I I signed up to do this, and like I didn't. Really, I didn't. I shouldn't. I just signed this kid up to do it. He's basically. like he's like I am the knight. Like I, I like this is me. Like this isn't this yeah. isn't Dick. Like and then but you know he always brings like. You know, he kind of messes up his relationship with all all the people he brings on. Tim, okay, Tim didn't, didn't, Nightwing, doesn't Barbara, Barbara and him have like a romantic relationship, relationship in that? Yeah, uh, I didn't remember I, that at all until like someone it's had brought it's it up. It's not to really. Me. It's not really. They don't really talk about it. So because it, it was funny though, even like when it, they did Death of or Death in the Family, right? That's what is that? What, no, Jason I'm sorry. Dodd? No, 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 no. When when Barbara gets shot, killing Joe, p- killing. Well, I'm getting them all confused. I think I lost my train of thought because of that. Anyways, when they were continue. when they were doing the Killing Joke, yeah, I know. oh the I, bad sex thing. Oh yeah, yeah with Barbara. Yeah. Like I was like, oh this seems weird. I feel like they've never done anything, but apparently there is a this, it has been done before. It was, I just didn't know. Yeah, and I, you know, I I, th- I think the way they do it in in the animated or sorry in the Killing Joke, it's like it's not that unbelievable that like no, it's not. these two people fighting crime like like get like romantically get, get involved in with each other. Yeah. Like it's really not that hard to believe, yeah. especially like in the animated series when you really see it develop and like you see Barbara like you know like steal the bat suit and when she becomes Batgirl for the first time and then uh, the costume change. I I like the way uh, wh- the way a lot of those characters are depicted in the animated series. Batman animated series are really good. That's one thing we can't speak even more to they, of like the art style is amazing. Yeah, and then they introduce like in Superman, there's Parasite. Um, who's really cool? I feel like I have seen that episode. He's also in that. Like, I really liked Parasite. Uh, I'm I'm kind of surprised. Like with Superman, apparently I, was like, I, I didn't saw... know what to expect with the animated series because I I really hadn't heard much, much of about it, anything yeah. about it. Hmm. So I was just like, yeah, this is a thing. I'm I'm definitely gonna watch it. I love the way they depict Krypton and the 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 garb. Like what Jor El looks like in in the animated series for Superman is awesome. Yeah, and like the first three episodes are 
um, like the last son of Krypton. So you're getting the what happened to Krypton and then a little bit of teen Superman and that just tees up the rest of the mm-hmm. show. And then after that, it's it kind of like um, villain villains of the week. So you haven't seen any of it? Not much. Probably an episode here or there. So yeah, we get Lex Luthor, obviously. Of course. Fucking what's his face? Uh, Clancy Brown yeah. is Lex Luthor. Like iconic, of Dude, course. Dude, have you seen a picture of him in real life? Yeah. Get him. What do you mean? Isn't he blonde? Isn't he bald and shit? Like, I'm no, trying to... I, think- I mean, he could shave. I'm sure. Let me think. Let me think if I'm thinking of the right... Continue, though. Yeah, and then we have Brainiac, and then, like... But Brainiac's role in Krypton is, like, you know... Brainiac is, like, the first villain. And then sure. There's Metallo. Livewire. Also created for the animated series. I did not know that. Yeah, and then there's Bizarro. Lobo's get a, gets a few episodes. Mrs. Pitlick. Um, oh, okay. Bruno no, Mannheim, who's of- Inner Gang. Yeah. So I didn't know Inner Gang is like Dark Side controlling humans to do Dark Side things. I wouldn't have known that either. So Bruno Mannheim is like the gangster behind Inner Gang, and then mm. but Intra Dark Side okay, yeah. works for or Bruno w- works Man- for Dark Side. Mannheim yeah. works for Dark Side. Dark Side. And yeah. then you see Calabac and Granny Goodness and no, there's a lot shit. of I I've heard good I've heard interesting things there's about a Mongol it. episodes Steppenwolf's in in there like there's a lot of like I'm like they, I've definitely they seen the, the new guy I've definitely seen the Mongol episode that's where there's that the war like the War World one or whatever yes. yeah yeah it's War World mm-hmm. um yeah there's like like a Superman animated series like again it's like it's so much different than Batman it really is and well it, you know what they and do it's good for its own reasons you you know Jimmy Olsen Lois Lane and would you say they go off planet a lot in that yeah that's what I mean yeah. so that's what I think for a next Superman movie. I want to see him go to space a little bit. Like, I want to see him, like, like I don't know, like, I think it would be cool. To, that's something we've never seen in live action. Like, there's an episode where he goes to a planet of, like, I forget what the girl's name is. Um, but he goes to a, let me see if I can find it while I'm talking about it. There's a, there's an episode where he goes to this planet and, like, it's, it's like, you know, it's just an alien planet. And, like, there really is no um, plot on earth it's all it's, all it's just, just a yeah. superman like side story and nobody from earth is involved i feel like I've, is there a candor episode like the, plant, the bottle yeah like, like the bottle city no it, but brainiac no brainiac is turning everything into data he's not turning everything into little so like worlds. small thing okay i he, think there is an episode where he does that i I'm thought there's one i feel like there is one where he's i really at, like he's on brainiac candor. in the animated series I he's more he's, of like a computer man in that right yeah. rather than like yeah yeah because I feel like every iteration we Brainiac we've seen recently, like he's more of a like and like the I mean he's a a Kaluan or Kaluan, um and yeah he's not he's less robot-y, more. He's a, he's 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 yeah he's still slightly. I did like him a lot in Injustice. Their depiction in that I will say. Also, I think they do a pretty good job with him in Krypton as well. I wasn't a big fan of the like Injustice, Brainiac. Really? Yeah. I think he was too big. I do agree. I think he was a little bit too chunky. Like, but I like, thought like, like I don't think his brainiac is this like big imposing guy. Like, I think of him as this like. Yeah, I think I think there's hello, a, so, <laughs> I do think in that they in those games they tend to go a little bit too muscular for their characters, especially even like Flash. I I feel like he's way too beefy in that. Like, I feel like he should be a. No, he doesn't have to be like thin, but I feel like he should be a bit more like a runner's body, like slender. Like, whereas like in that, I feel like he's like a muscle, like he's like a fucking muscle builder or bodybuilder. Jeez. But, uh, yeah. So what was your favorite part of Superman, then? Like, what was your favorite episode? What was the most memorable one for you? I think when they introduced Supergirl, and then the final episode where Superman goes bad, and Darkseid's controlling him, and they attack Earth, and, like, the whole, like, the whole dynamic changes. Interesting. And that's the last episode of the animated series. So do they leave you on a cliffhanger, or do they, like... Well, he saves the Earth, but, like, everyone questions Superman after that, like... Like Emil Emil Hamilton, Emil Hamilton. That's his name. Who's actually in Batman of Steel? He's hmm. that doctor. I didn't realize that. Oh, that's Emil shit. Hamilton. Yeah. yeah. So he's a Star Labs professor uh, or scientist. And yeah, so yeah, it's the guy that he's talking to behind the two way mirror, right? Like in that scene. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. With uh, with, with Swanson Swanwick. behind Swanwick. Yeah. Yeah. Swanson. Um, and Stabler. I I think I, I I'm not sure I had like I just liked Superman the, like seeing the new guy. You overall cool. enjoyed Orion it. Orion and um. Uh, oh, it's not Odin. Who's the All Father? Maybe it's just the All Father. Yeah, but like seeing the new gods and like seeing that conflict and the way they look and like seeing what like Steppenwolf looks like in that is like you know totally different from like 
the Justice League or the what the Snyder Cut did. Mm-hmm. Um, well, it's more yeah, Kirby esque, right? Like, uh, uh, or is yeah. It, yeah. Well, um, Jack Kirby is a character. His name yeah. is Dan Turpin. Yep. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So and he he dies. Actually, when Darkseid invades the first time and he kills him, that's like a really sad moment. Oh man. That's like a, I think the first time in the animated series, like a character actually got killed off. I don't think anyone from Batman dies hmm. in it. Interesting. But, but yeah, they kill off Dan Turpin. Wow. And it's like it's like kind of out of nowhere. Um. There, you know, it's funny. Like the way Metropolis looks in that is really cool too. It's almost like futuristic. What do they call Metropolis? City of the Future? Maybe. Yeah. Some. I don't know. Like because yeah. it looks like that. Yeah. Like Gotham kind of has that like a, a like an Art Deco look, while while Metropolis has an Art Deco future look. Yeah. No. I think like I've read somewhere online where the idea is like Gotham is New York City at night, Metropolis is New York City during the day. Is kind of supposed to be the. A little bit of the thought process. With like an Art Deco interpretation. Well, even that's the thing. Like, even like, that's one thing we do have to, like, we should speak to, even in Batman the Animated Series. Like, that kind of weird, near futuristic, like, kind of, but mixed with old time styles. Like, I don't even know. It's like this interesting amalgam that you can tell. I feel like they definitely took some inspiration from, I think he's even said it, Bruce Tim from uh, uh, Tim Burton's, like, Batman and things like that. And, like, and the way that city kind of presents itself. So, Again, just really cool design just in the in what we're not even necessarily focusing on. Yeah, and Superman the animated series tees up Flash, who would eventually uh Mike Rosenbaum plays him, who played Lex Luthor. So is Barry Allen referenced at all? It's not Barry. I know that. I know what? he's I no. know, but you don't he, he doesn't wasn't reference in the it. comics at this point. He wasn't the Flash. It's, but Wally doesn't even like talk about how there was another Flash before him or anything not like that. Flash. He was the first Flash. See, those are the kind of things that I don't like. I assume John Stewart never mentions Hal. No, there is an episode when they go back to the future, when he finds out Warhawk is his son, Batman, Beyond Terry McGinnis, Bruce Wayne, the Green Lantern, and I think that's it. I don't mm-hmm. think all of them are in that. Uh, I think Big Barda is, but he like t- so. There's a villain that's like switching time around, and that's that's how they got pulled back. Yeah, and. Um, John Stewart turns into Hal Jordan. What do you mean? Like, like he, just because time got changed, he turns into Hal Jordan. He's he becomes the Hal Green Jordan Lantern. is Green Lantern now instead of John Stewart, and then he switches back. Yeah. So Hal Jordan is in an episode, or like he's in an. I'm con- I'm so confused. He's in an episode because the villain, I forget his name, switches time to like he's another universe. Time. So in that universe, Hal, Hal Jordan, Jordan was is the Green Lantern. Yeah. I'm so this is Justice League Unlimited? No. Yes. Sorry. Yes. No, I'm just curious. I've no, I don't know if I've ever seen him in like that. Yeah, and he looks like different. There is a there is an episode where they go they go into like a the comic book and it's like the Justice Guild, it's the Justice Society and it's the Black Canary. Uh there's like a Superman stand-in and like mm-hmm. a, a few stand-ins, but Black Canary is one of them. Um, there's a the Green Guardian instead of Alan Scott Green Lantern. Like they switch it up, but like that's so interesting. That's um, yeah, that. that's it. Wait, let me say, yeah, Static Shock is in it. Yeah, that's yeah. so funny, man. So yeah, that's it. So wow. Static Shock is the only show I I didn't watch because I just kind of didn't feel interested. That's in interesting. It. So he's only in like an episode. Then it's quick. Well, because in during this time, Hal Jordan was dead too. Along with like uh, the and time Ky- that this was made, he was Kyle Rayner's teed up in the animated series, and they never really do anything with it. Mm-hmm. Like I, they never even. I actually in Fatal Five, they mention all of them. Yeah, they're oh, like wow, they're, really? Jessica Cruz go like they're. I think they're in a the Legion of Superheroes like headquarters, le- whatever. Yeah, right, and it's all the leaguers, and That's there's funny. a room dedicated all to the Green Lanterns. Lanterns, and it's all of them. Wow. And Je- Jessica Cruz is one of them. So that's so weird. So basically in this universe, Hal Jordan was never Green Lantern then. Is yeah. what they're is what they're implying. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so it's Guy Gardner, Alan Scott, um John Stewart. Oh, Alan Scott is I, in it. I think. I guess he would be in the Justice Society, if that's so that would right. make sense, right? Right. Or the Justice Guild. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah that's so funny. It. Yeah. Um huh. All right, so favorite part of Justice League Unlimited and Justice League then? Fucking Black and Airy. Easy. Easy. All right. I mean, oh got, my god. I mean, that's oh got my her right god. out there. Dude. I'm not going to get her. Yeah. But she's great. <laughs> I the Black so it's the, the like the first episode of Justice League Unlimited is sort of like 
Green Arrow focused. Yeah, I've and seen then the, I've seen that episode. The, the for end sure. of it, like he sees Black and Arrow for the first time, and I'm like, oh. And you felt you fell and for she's him. Putting on her boots, and he's like, hey. It's like you know what? I think I could join and then the Justice League. The second season, we get the episode where so they do the comic book origin with her, where um, Wildcat trains her. He's she and like an arrow. Wildcat was trained Black Canary. Um, so they do that same thing. Interesting. That's, that's like that's a yeah. That's a comic book thing where that hmm. happens. And like he's kind of in an underground wrestling thing and or like fighting thing and like he's fucking people up. Like I didn't. I'm like, oh. what is Wildcat's powers again? Like, I, don't I don't think he has powers. Does he, he not? He's literally fighter. just a fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Just a really. I mean, that's a Black Canary. Oh, actually, actually sorry. No, she, she has. Been. She has like the, the Canary yeah. call. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Marina Bachran voices her. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And yeah, I like everything in, with Black Canary, like the, like, oh, I just, I love it. I really do. I, I really like that version of Black Canary a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, um, and then there's another episode, like the question and Huntress became my favorites and they're in a relationship and they're also in episodes with Black Huntress Canary. Huntress in that and, is, and is she... Bruce Wayne's daughter? No, or is she, she's Helena. She Bernalli. is Helena. Okay. Yeah. Because um, that's that was so confusing. I was try, I was I was trying to get clarification online. I didn't really like. So she was originally introduced as Earth to Selena and Bruce's daughter. Really? Yeah, Helena Wayne. Helena Hel- Helena Wayne. Helena Helena Helena. Uh, and then for re- I can't remember which after that. Then they just made her Helena Bertinelli or whatever. And then they gave her the new introduction. But yeah, on it, she was a lot of God. No, yeah, she was Earth 2's... The, their daughter, because like, for those of you who don't know, in the nineties or like, I can't. Now it wasn't the nineties; it was the eighties. After like, uh, DC, uh, the Christ on Infinite Earths, they had a they had a, basically one Earth, which was Earth Two, where it continued on from where when the heroes started in the forties, and they they aged in real time, and then Earth One became the one that kind of just keeps current with where we're at now. So yeah, she was originally their daughter. Fun facts. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I knew, I don't think I knew that too much, but um, big question fan now. Big question, yeah. This que- uh, the question is, doesn't the he just have a blank face? Right? Isn't that him? Is, yeah, he wears the right a mask guy? on yeah. his face. Yeah. Oh, he does. Is yeah, that it's a mask? Okay. Yeah, he gets on mask. He just looks like a normal dude. Okay. <laughs> there's nothing. Well, but there's nothing like, wrong. With is him. it it's that a- he's like he like wears a he wears a mask? It looks like flesh colored, right? Like his face yeah. literally just, he just looks doesn't blank. have a face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's like, a, it's funny. It's funny the way the leaguers talk about each other in Unlimited. Um, I mean, we don't get that in Justice League. I actually think Justice League, the the first season, is a very, like, it's probably like my second worst season. Like, I think the third season of the animated series for Batman is at the bottom, and next up is Justice League. I think they really struggled with episode format because every episode is two parts, every single arc. Oh, wow. Whereas Unlimited is every episode. Only a few episodes have continuations, but... Every other one's like a story of the week, usually. Yeah, when we get to Cadmus, there's like f- three or four continuing ones, but they're not called parts. In in Justice League, the, you know, not Unlimited, they are all... Part one, or what? Superman, something part two. Superman takes a poop, part one. Yeah, Superman, Superman takes, takes a shit, a poop, part, part two. two. Superman shaves, part one. Yeah. Superman. And like, and I, like, I'm like, I didn't, I didn't really like that formatting. Sure. And like, I, I like the characters and stuff, but I think like they, they really got their jive with that. How do we do more story with a bunch of characters on screen? I think they really mastered it with, with Unlimited. And that I, makes I, sense. And I like how many leaguers there are. And yeah, so Batman, uh, I think like. Like some of the leaguers, it's like fuck the question. Like yeah, the question's like, who's crazy. This? Yeah. Like he's in a conspiracy nut, and like his fucking room is like you know. He's yeah, got, it's like, just got everything anywhere. Yeah. So what is is the question? Just an inv- private investigator? Like is that pretty it? much? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like he like investigate. Like he's a detective. Yeah, just like Batman is, hmm. and I think that's why Bat- Batman like I, I, I get. Yeah. I know he's crazy, but like but he's, like he's, he's, good. he's he knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and like hmm. uh, Huntress gets kicked out of the league. Um, for doing shit she shouldn't do, and like, yeah, like how many background leaguers there are. I really like the fact that, like, even though not everyone talked every episode, like there were just Justice League members either walking around yeah, the yeah, Watchtower yeah. or like fighting in the background. Yep. And that's something. That's a reason I didn't like Justice League versus the Fatal Five. Really, because they, they don't yeah. have all these people. It's like, just like who is it? Just Batman and Sur- I've seen. I think I've seen it's half Batman, of Superman. Um, John Stewart isn't there. Hawkgirl isn't there. Um, Wonder Woman's there. But then it's like Mr. Terrific who replaces Martian Manhunter for a time. Like Martian Manhunter stops 
being Martian Manhunter and just like lives. And Mr. Terrific kind of takes over that watchtower like I'm the main dude on the computer kind of thing. Um, it's weird that you would leave Martian Manhunter behind on the computer. Maybe because he can read minds and well, yeah, but around. Yeah, I, I mean, guess, uh, yeah. and I just like the way the league operates. Yeah, no, in, they in they are well oiled machine. Unlike anything, and like, yeah, they got like a staff that they beam up, and like there's a Suicide Squad episode where it's Deadshot, Rick Flag, Plastique, um, Captain Boomerang, the Clock King, and I okay. think that's it. And they they break into the Watchtower and steal. I think I've seen that episode Waller. actually. Yeah, and yeah. it's kind of the beginning of the Cadmus arc. Mm-hmm. Amanda Waller's great. Cadmus is great. Lex is great in that. They bring back Lex from the animated stuff, and they and then he becomes Brainiac, and hmm. Flash runs out of time, and then he gets pulled back. That's cool. Um, yeah, one of I think one of the big misses is with the movie Mystery of Batwoman. Nah, I heard that. Not I that heard good. very okay. Not things. that good. I remember. I'm and that's to- a that's a. That is a uh, Batman animated series season three show. What would you say is your favorite movie out of all of them that you watched? Mass of Phantasm. Absolutely. Yeah. Second. Okay. Second favorite then. That's out. Return of the Joker. Okay. Yeah. All right. That then makes maybe sense to me. Sub-Zero. Batman and Harley Quinn. Fatal Five. Batman and Harley Quinn came out like very recently, right? Yeah, I'll talk, I'll talk about that in a set. Fatal Five and then Mystery of the Batwoman. Mm-hmm. Um, here's the issue with Batman and the Harley Quinn. It's it, it's not that it's like the like I, I kind of like it's a little bit mature and it's, it but like it's like who is it for or is it like eh, it's not even that it's just like it's just weird it, it's so tonally different like like I don't like it's not tonally different but no it is. Fatal Five is not totally different. It's just it's it's a little bit more adult. Yeah. If anything, have you watched Gods and Monsters? No. No, That's just that one. So it's not really. It's very tangentially connected to the animated universe, but it's like an alternate universe where Superman, that Superman that comes to Earth, is Thal Zod. I think it's Zod's son instead of Kal El. Um, Batman is Kirk Langstrom, Man Bat. Like he's he's trying to fight off his disease, and then Wonder Woman. I can't. I think she's like from an alien world or something like that. She's dip, but like for like characters I would not have cared about or didn't know anything about and like new interpretations. Very cool. I would definitely recommend checking that out. Yeah, yeah. There's still some anime movies I got, but yeah, Batman and Harley Quinn just doesn't work. Mm-hmm. It's it's good from some perspectives and other perspectives is like You're like what's uh, going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you just gotta watch it and you'll see what I mean. Like it just it just it just doesn't hit. It just doesn't hit it for yeah, me. That makes sense. Um. But I wanted to watch it, so I kind of included that because it, it is Doring Unlimited. It like like there's a scene when he's talking to Booster Gold yeah. in the Watchtower. And I think he's calling for backup, and he's talking to Booster Gold, and like Booster Gold's like, nah, nobody's really like available, and 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 then and he's like, oh, but I I can come, and Batman's like, uh, yeah, breaking up, <laughs> like like you know they do like the, the crumpling thing, and they just like hang up on him, like what? It, it's funny though because like they treat other like leaguers like that, like they're like oh like. Shining Knight and like Vigilante, like who wants that? <laughs> you, guys, you guys will stay with the like purse robbers, like a new, right. Yeah, and like, like along, like there's an episode where like Booster Gold comes in and and there's something happening in the city and Booster Gold like trying to like find his way as like a hero from like the 31st century, century kind of like being a hero now. Mm-hmm. And he's talking to Elongated Man and Elongated Man's like like kind of like getting put on the back burner too. And then Wonder Woman's like. A long game, man. Plastic man is hurt. We need you. And he's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Because you know, he even says, it's like, yeah. we like this. Well, there's like, like two stretchy two guys. Stretchy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, what's the fucking point? It's just like, they really have a lot of fun with it. And no, that's cool. It's that like, kind of reminds me of, heroes, yeah, yeah that, that reminds me of actually like the new, you watch the Harley Quinn show, right? Yeah. I've been watching that like here and there on HBO Max. I actually really like it. I think the way they kind of play with the characters in like kind of similar veins to that. It's, yeah. it's obviously Doctor a lot more Psycho's adult. pretty funny. And even just the way they use Kite Man and things like that. I was oh, like, yeah. no, like it just surprised me. I'm like, I like seeing these characters like doing things like that. Like that's like having a little bit of levity to it. And it doesn't need to be like 
like kitty jokes, but that is fun. It's like it's like yeah, I mean, there's fucking plastic man's out there. He joined. Before. What am I supposed to? And then one of coming in. Plastic man's out. You're in a long game. He's like yes, like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's it's good. Well, like, like, it works. Bo- they're basically Booster Gold and the long game man are just like helping people. Yeah, exactly. And like Booster Gold like ends up like like the, he has this like little plot. It wasn't my favorite episode, but it's interesting. Like and like there's no Blue Beetle. I think you asked me that before. Like yeah. Ted Cord isn't in this. Interesting. Um. But like again, like you got Adam Smasher, the Ray, uh, the Ted Ray. Cord doesn't do anything, right? He's just like a he's just like a, a secret agent. Does he shrink? No, he's wait what? Ted Cord, like his Is as Blue a Blue Beetle. Beetle, like yeah, no, I know, but like he just he's is, just a guy, right? Yeah, like, he doesn't have any like he's no. okay. I thought so. I'm just making sure. Like, yeah. that's, I'm just trying to think out yeah. loud. But yeah, like again, like this. It, it, it's a lot of TV. It's a lot of dedication. It's 15 seasons of television, six movies, maybe maybe more than that again if you're counting Static Shock. And there's, I think I watched pretty much everything. This is, oh, sorry, besides Static Shock, um, it's a lot. Like again, it took me a year and a half to do this. Yeah, that's us. And, uh, and I assume that was kind of doing it on your own pace too, and stuff like that, right? It's not like where you weren't trying to watch these to get these done for this, right? Yeah, real quick. It's I, both are blue. Yep, I don't remember hitting it. I was like, if I'm not recording, I'm just taking the vod off the stream. <laughs> that I was close. That no, was yeah. close. I was like, oh no, fuck. I can. I wasn't even. I can see the two blue boxes. For what were you we just so. talking about? I can't remember. Yeah. Um, you were just. Yeah, oh, you say it's a commitment. It's yeah. a lot. It's a lot of TV. And but like, you did it on your own it, terms, right? You weren't like. I need to finish this by this time right. to get. The I thing. started yeah. December 2019, and I finished April. 2021 like it took me a while and i took breaks in between shows i think i had i had a little bit of trouble uh getting through the final season of batman the animated series and superman i just took a while yeah and then everything else once i got to beyond i kind of like started going through it a little faster and i think the first season of justice league same thing okay but what do you think of this shit coming back because guess what Batman and the Harley Quinn came out recently. Justice League vs. Fatal Five came out recently. Apparently, there is a there's talks about BT. Some, yeah, yeah, then coming yeah, back. Yeah, BTAS some, coming back or like like something is in the works with with the 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 Bruce Tim. If Paul you have Dini the same stuff. creators and the same creative minds behind it, I'm for it. And I think and if you you have people in there coming in that that you feel like can do it, I think it can be good. And I think why not like let me see more of what's going on in this universe. Absolutely. But they do run the risk of, well, they're not going to retroactively ruin the old stuff. But no, because like I think, but it, it could sully the the, the nostalgia. The na- no, that's true. Because because this is all this is for some people is nostalgia. By the way, just to get back to and and they the yeah no sorry yeah yeah go ahead the cast of JLU wants to come back absolutely yeah and i know they there was want to like, do more stuff and even like if mike they rosenbaum did, had them on a podcast recently but like even if they did just a movie but an guess, animated movie but guess what george newburn it does superman in everything not everything but like a lot of animated stuff same with conroy same i don't with, know how they same do with it. The, the the woman who plays yeah. um wonder woman like she's they're they're all in justice all, yeah, yeah. um oh by the way let me talk about fucking hawk girl I didn't. I, I, You're surprised you enjoyed I didn't give so a much, shit yeah. about Hawker until this, and I'm like, like I'm I, in. yeah, like me small. And like, s- same with her relationship with with John. Like, it still I, blows I really my mind that she's not going to be in Black Adam, and they chose that other Cyclone like girl. Like, what are we doing? Why would you not get Hawk Girl with Hawkman? See, so they do Hawkman really dumb. Really, in the Thanagarian War, at the end of the first season, they established this character who definitely is supposed to be Hawkman. Looks like him. Is is not Connor Hall or yeah, yeah. Connor Hall is not. It's not him by name, but mm-hmm. like it's him. It's the Thanagarian yeah. version. And then in Unlimited, they do they do an arc where Connor Hall comes into the picture, is an archaeologist, and he shows her. The Egyptian origin where they're two lovers yeah. and they die. And, and then they continue to like reincarnate or whatever. Right. Yeah. And he's like, and Batman's kind of like, this guy is like stalking the shit out of you. He's been in all these like fights you've been at and stuff. And like John doesn't like it, obviously. Yeah. Even though he's with Vixen, he yeah. still has feelings for what's it called. And he knows the future. So I like that like love triangle yeah. thing. It's pretty interesting. But 
Yeah, he eventually he is Hawkman. Yeah, he's right. Like yeah. he's not just he's stalking not just, her. Yeah, like he, he is. He is Hawkman, and I'm just like I don't like how you did that at yeah, all. Yeah, like you would have rather just have him like come in right. Or just him. not at all. Or just don't do. Yeah, exactly. Like leave him alone. That makes sense. Yeah. But speaking of Wildcat, he okay. He is a world champion boxer. You were correct. Peak physical condition. Nine lives at any given time. I don't know. But what is that, that a means. thing that they they actually ran with? I don't know. Fic- fictional character, but Earth Two mm, Wildcat's costume. So roulette. It's the girl who runs the rings. She's an arrow, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, overall, any big takeaways from your time with the bit with the with the animated universe of DC Comics? Big takeaways. What do you mean? Give me... Like, give, is there something that you were like... Like you're saying, that you were like, we need this back. Or, we should maybe leave it alone. It's perfect the way it is. That's tough. Some... Like, it's it's tough to say. Um, because part of me says I, don't shit the bed, don't 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 run the risk. Yeah. Anything I would like another Justice League show. Okay, not a movie, a show. Give me more Black Canary. Give me more Question. Give me more Huntress. Give me more fucking Adam all Smasher. Them, yeah. I want all of them. Adam I Smasher see, is going I, to be in Black Adam. I want to see all of those characters, whether the voice or not, back on screen. Leaguers like Unlimited. I think Unlimited really is the peak. Like, I like Batman the Animated Series as his own thing, don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. but it's just Batman. When it gets to beyond that, no pun intended, mm-hmm. um, I think Unlimited is just like, this is really cool. Mm-hmm. This is like, it's not just a small team, Justice League. The Justice League is more than seven people after they're founded. It is hundreds it's of unlimited. heroes. It's unlimited. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, and it, it, I, I just didn't, I didn't think I need, no, I wanted that, but I'm like, and you did, yeah. and like, I like the watchtower, the idea, and like, people work there, and like, they're like, they're like, really, and I like, so the, one of the big plots is the Justice, um, not the Justice Guild, the Justice Lords on Earth 2, and how Superman kills L- President Luther, and that starts down this path, and they encounter you know, the evil versions of themselves. And, you know, it's it's pretty much as you would guess. And I like one of the better parts of it is... Is that when the crime syndicate comes in? Or is it the, the no. just... Okay, so it's... De- the it crime is- syndicate is Crisis on Earth 2. Originally, it was supposed to be a DCAU movie. It's not. Yeah. But it was designed hmm. that way. Interesting. And Fatal Five was almost not a DCA movie. Hmm. movie. Or it started it not as one and then turned they into... Cross, one. Yeah, they used Jessica Cruz in that, right? That's who... Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. So, um... Justice Lords, yeah. So, and yeah, like Batman is having a conversation with his Justice Lords counterpart, and the reason that happens is the Flash dies. The Flash dies, and that's what kind of turns them on to this path. I forget how he dies. I don't think they actually say, hmm. but you know, he almost dies in, in um, Unlimited, at the end of the Cadmus arc. He goes so fast he, he almost tears himself he apart beats the yeah. shit like this yeah exactly like this <laughs> he beats the shit out of brainiac luther and like he punches like brainiac like fucking exoskeleton off of him and he's fucking naked lex luther <laughs> like in the streets Jesus. and then he like gets up and he's like you know yeah he can't stop he's like guys yeah. i feel funny he disappears yeah. and then oh man and then they're talking and then like i think a warm like man martian manhunter's like he's still here like i can feel him and then I think I, I don't know, like I think Flash like reaches out of the Speed Force and grabs Shiara and they're like fighting like and he's like talking about like basically like, kind of like a I see the light kind of thing. Yeah. It's like the Speed Force like and he like no like it's accepting me like and yeah he, and then they pull him out and he's good but like that was like a moment they were like that they talk about later then it was like Flash almost died and like, if he died all- that's you guys would be on the same path that we're on. Right, but yeah. the Justice Lords I mean the just the Justice Lords episode is way before this. Yeah, uh, so, okay. So. Like interesting, but yeah, Batman as a, the Justice Lord, Batman, he, he like him and normal Batman have a fight and they're kind of talking about like, you know, the one thing about Batman, which is which I always come back to is like, you know, you know, I stopped criminal like, you know. I made sure that like no boy would ever go go through what I did again. Like Batman, our Batman. Like mm-hmm. he's like, yeah, you're right. Interesting. Like that's that's what I need. Like that's what I wanted to do, and he succeeded. And even though it was fucked up, and then Justice Lords Batman. This is way too confusing at this point. <laughs> explaining it like helps them get back. So like that maybe they have another chance to not to not turn go this down way, this yeah. path. But like, yeah, interesting. 
Like again, like all these through lines are like again, and there. even things I feel like are kind of that have been explored again and again. Even like with Injustice, I feel like is very kind of inspired by that. Injustice stemmed from the game, right? That wasn't a comic book before. It was a game. Yeah, yeah. that's that where had a comic had book tie-in. Yeah, it's probably one of the best comic book tie-ins ever of anything. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I don't, I'm on year two. I have it. I'm just reading Invincible right now. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. It just sounds or like not year two. Injustice twos line Sorry. the the influence that this whole animated universe has had on superhero things in general cannot be overstated in my opinion like yeah, truly yeah like, and and i think that it's awesome i think it's really cool that you how kind of sat I get down into and watched this? those into what? what you were asking me what's how the hell do we i don't know it doesn't matter we're here now gooch let's just right, let's just right, bask right, in right, it right, right. uh but yeah i don't know gooch is there anything else to say on the, on the I, I just think if you're into DC, I think you're not you're doing a, yourself a disservice by not at least checking out like Beyond Something, yeah. or animated series. Everything's on HBO Max now, right? Yes. Yeah. So at first, I was watching this on D- uh, DC Universe. DC Universe kind of went to the wayside, and eventually, not everything at first was on HBO Max yeah. while I was watching this, and then everything Bang, is Bang, pretty Bang. much on HBO Max besides like. Just League versus the Fatal Five is in it, and it's probably because there's a contract somewhere that prevents it from Absolutely. being on HBO Max. But mostly, all those other movies are on HBO Max now, so you can check them out. Um, sorry, no water hiccup. Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're doing. You gotta watch this shit if you're a DC fan. I think it, it'll help. And you. Yeah, I don't it'll even think you necessarily- understand more characters that you probably don't understand, like Huntress or the Question or Black Canary or Wildcat or whoever. Like, there's just like, uh, like Aquaman. Aquaman, you know, we totally missed him. He's not really in the league. Which, he, he's which hooking funny. Aquaman in that, right? Yeah. 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 But in, I like the way in in Superman the animated series, he's more like. I don't know. Standoffish? I don't know. Stoic? He's like, more regal. Yes. Yeah. And he has short hair, and it's like a dark orange and green pants. But then they kind of, in Justice League, they kind of change him to be more of the long hair. No, beard, yeah, I feel, Hulk yeah, man. they're like a little bit more, ooh, like, yeah, yeah I know exactly. Do you like Hulkman and Aquaman? I kind of. It's, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. And I really <laughs> like, I don't know. I it's, See, it's weird, because I feel like you either need to go hook hand or trident. I feel like when you start going hook hand and, and trident... trident it's a little bit much, but I. That being said, I want Jason Momoa's hand to get cut off by Black Manta at the beginning of Aquaman two. You want that? I want that, and I think it would truly I be a good. Work. I think it would work completely. And you know what? Give him the water hand. Do you ever see that? Where he has like this basically magical hand that's just made that's just water. I think. And uh, I think that could be really cool. But again, that's something then you'd have they, to. What movie? Were, oh, Rick in. There's a lot of conversations about The Walking Dead because Rick loses an arm in The Walking mm-hmm. Dead about like what if they did that in the comics, but they would have the green screen his hand out on yeah. a TV show literally every episode. Every time, yeah. Yeah. So like so I, I, I think of that as a uh, a budget thing. Like, absolutely. They... And I think it's a little different for a movie. I think that's easier to kind of cope with budget wise. But still right, you're but definitely right. As you continue, right? Well, yes, and also like, like that's... I just don't got it on. Well, today. but even like <laughs> Oh, I got another like even like Thor and fucking with the Avengers, eye. like with the eye, or like yeah. that does suck. I don't you know how they couldn't the see. Patch. Well, but apparently it was from him. He just didn't want to wear the eye patch. But I'm like, they were making him wear the eye patch. Like, I thought it was just CGI'd. But I guess I don't know. Either way, that's a, that's a whole other story. I would love to see the storyline where I think it's it's either Orm. I think it's Orm in the comics, but Orm kills his son, and like that's a big thing. Kills whose son? Uh, or Arthur's and Mara's. They have okay. they have like a baby, right. and he like and, and he kills it, and lo- and like that kind of makes him. I could see that kind of forcing him into like a darker. Kind of stance, but I don't. I feel like that would be a little rough with the, the themes that they've established already. If they kill his infant child in the next movie, but yeah. that's if they wanted to go really dark. Although I think that really does it here for us today, guys. Thank you so much for watching live. If you've been with us, this has been a pleasure to talk through the DC animated universe. You should definitely go check it out all over uh, HBO Max. Everything's on there for the most part, like you just said. Uh, but you can find this podcast wherever podcasts are found. Just search us up, Delco Nerd Network. We are on all these social medias at Delco Nerds. You can just search our name on Facebook. We got a fun Facebook page. We also have a good Discord channel where we have fun chats about the DC animated universe or how No Time to Die has been coming out for over a year now. And I want to see that goddamn movie. And I really like that poster. Yeah. But Hype. you can also email us, Delco Nerds at gmail.com. All this information can be found on our website, Delco Nerd Network.com. For Gooch, I've been Trio. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay nerdy, and we will see you next time. <laughs>